And we talked about earlier about how, you know, Joke being sponsored by Echo Fox. Echo Fox wanted him to come out here. That's why I, I sort of thought if, if Joke was going to drop a game in this tournament, it was going to be early, maybe a lack of preparation, a lack of getting locked in. But he's a professional, RG, as you said. This is round of 16, two wins away from the money. This is what Joke is paid to do. He's lock in and get that cash. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a good test, and, but you got to watch out if you're Joke. Well, these, these guys like Vancey who are super, that are obviously super tough, have the respect of a lot of the top tier players, but are still trying to really make a name for themselves. And the way you make a name for them, yourself is getting wins over players like guys like Joke on the big stage. I mean, that's a very hey, dangerous wait, wait. Madden player for Joke to have to deal with right now. So I'm excited here to see what Fancy brings to the table. How about this? The Atlanta Falcons, the Kansas City Chiefs. We've seen this once or twice. No gain on first down. Yeah, these two have obviously been, been the teams that have defined the meta of this tournament. The Falcons and the Chiefs, the go-to teams and regs blatantly at this time of the year. And it was similar at the start of the year. At that Madden Classic, we saw a lot of Falcons and Chiefs as well. Hey, wait, wait. 21. Second down of 10. Fancy representing the Atlanta Falcons. Joke. The Kansas City Chiefs. Dropping back to pass is Fancy. So it looked right side. How about that look? Nike check comeback route. That's tough right there. It looked like he had the little short hitch right in front of him. I thought that were, that's where he was going to go. Instead, he picks up more yards with the comeback. Looking tough out of Tripp's tight end. Chicken piccata. Classic Rico. First down at 10. Trying to get Devontae Freeman going on the ground. I see Rico eating this food. I really hope Papa Deuce is still happening. I, 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 I gotta <laughs> think that was Nine o'clock. the club Definitely. championship. The, if anybody in the chat, what, what, let me know, was Fancy in a club, a club this year for the club championship? If so, which one? How far did he get? I, I can't recall. Second and 10. And how about the pressure up the middle? Bailey with the sack. Joe getting a big play on second down, setting up a third and long. I got TK in the chat says, what's up to the two of you? What's going on, TK? TK? Soccer says, hey, thinks two, Fancy two, lost two, one game before making the Cowboys live event in Vegas. Anyone confirm that? Thank you, Sokka. Third and 18, underneath to Ridley. It's not going to be enough. Now fourth down, and it looks like Fancy. Take his medicine. Gonna punt this ball away. See my guy Musafa Jones in the chat. What's up, Safa? Safa. Safa the legend. How's the chicken piccata? Seeing as how it took me this long to answer you, phenomenal. I feel like he's lying to me. But old Reed, speaking of Spluza, I mean, that guy's Safa, man. You, for, for a guy that you wouldn't expect to be able to put down food, I like Safa to... Really? Safa can hang with the big boys when it comes to eating. See what Fancy's got on defense. I mean, Joe getting that stop early on. That's big, and if you're Fancy, you're gonna wanna make a statement here on defense. He can't let Joe get too much momentum. Draw play. Good defense. That's a good draw, D. I have heard the rumblings. I have heard from the guys in Alabama, Rockets, Bugs, and Zan, that Dubby can put away some food. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. Dubby's an animal when it comes to Spooson. d he, he's telling me Fancy was top 32 in the Classic in Vegas. Only game he lost that whole tournament was to Little Man, supposedly. Missed that one when I was out there. Oh, oh, oh He had whoa, so many whoa. players open and missed them all. I don't know what was worse, the defender not getting the interception 
or the receiver not getting to the ball after the defender didn't make a play. Even themselves out. Instead, we got ourselves a third and 11 here. Third and 11. Joe looking to convert. Down the middle of the field. Oh, that's oh. a bad read. Fancy's on him. Oh. Fancy's can't on make him. that read. Oh, stumble recovery. Trying to get Icky. Oh Be careful, you might get stripped. <laughs> how many yards did he go back on that interception? 16. It's not a good look for Joe right there. He, he gets a blessing. He made one bad read, got away with it, and then on the very next play, throws right at Fancy. Very uncharacteristic from Joke, but like I said, I've always believed Joke is a better defensive player than he is offensive player. Let's see if he can get that defense to stand up for him. Any chance Joke is overlooking Fancy or underestimating him? Get up! Sure. I, 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 I'm... Sure. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. What? What's that? Who Can't won? leave star players open! Tops off, Julio's in the end zone. Fancy an early 6-0 lead. Rico is shaking his head. He's got piccata in his mouth and his head is shaking. You gotta be careful with the food. We're getting heat about it in the chat. Like, These guys never talk football and not spluce well. Sure. No, sometimes. I'm just trying to have a good time. You have to make somebody else beat you. You cannot allow these easy touchdowns to the main players. You know everybody wants to find Julio. You know everybody wants to find Tyreek Hill. You got to take that away and make them plod down the field. Yeah, we got seven hours on the stream. You got to find something else to talk about. Let's see how Choke responds here. I mean, Fancy can get all kinds of momentum. He's going to be able to lock him up again. Choke did not look good on that first offensive possession. Hey, is saying easier said than done. Stop the number one target, Rico. First and ten. Matt and League Ops manager, Steve, in the house. Holding it down. Now a second and three for Joe. Down seven, nothing. Still early. Watkins in motion from left to right. Dropping back to pass. Mahomes waiting, looking, stepping up. He'll take the first down and more and slide down to the 40-yard line. That was a good scramble, Nick. Nothing really seemed open. Instead of throwing the ball away, he's found the running lane, picked up the first down, slides, protects Mahomes. Way to pick up a first down if you echo Fox joke. A nice let it throw in the NBLs in the chat. First and ten. Z, 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 Z. that trips tight end look. A nice shot getting rid of it. He had some pressure up the middle, got rid of it quickly, and picks up four. In that situation right there, when you get in the open field, that's where I think D. Croft has spoiled me. That's where I'm expecting a little stop and go action instead of the spin. Second and six. Under the 42nd mark in the first quarter. Dropping back to pass is Mahomes waiting. Whoa, Nobody whoa. opening. Just gets rid of the ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breaking news when it feels like breaking. D. Croft in the chat says Fancy's the second stickiest player in Madden. And DK says Fancy just as good with the stop and go watch it. So they're calling for it. I can't wait to see Fancy get on offense. No need to get the stop and go going when you got Julio Jones open over the top. Third oh, and six. Let's see. Down the seam. Oh, here comes oh! Joe. It's Sammy Watkins into the end zone. A mistake, a bad switch on, and all of a sudden, Joke's an extra point away from tying it up. What a way to respond if you're Joke. Problem said that was a sticky hit stick. Here's the thing, scoring touchdowns like that is huge in Madden. This is why I struggle the most. When you're able 
to catch the ball and get those 30, 40, 25 yard touchdowns where you run and don't have to deal with that red zone or that goal line. It is such a big deal. And I've had a lot of trouble with that personally, being able to get those big one play style touchdowns. Joe, very fortunate to be able to get one right there, not have to worry about red zone offense, tie this ball game up. Now let's see how fancy and his highly respected stick work can respond here on offense. First and 10, 7-7 seven, seven ball game, play action pass. Nobody there. Lucky that wasn't coming out of his hands. Deeper down the field, it could have been a pick. It's always dangerous going into your throwing motion when you're about to get hit by a, a, a big hoss on the defensive line. Second down to 10. Jones in the slot on the left side. Tevin Coleman wide left. Play action pass once again. Looking for those crossers across the field, but nobody's open. Good throw away. Just to make sure the chat is up to date, we want to let you know that Nando was able to beat VY and is moving on as well. 14-9. That's a, that's a big upset right there. N Nando, I believe he's a Reds player. I remember seeing him in New really York. Last year, yeah. La last year in New York at that first challenger, he was there. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big win for him. So him beating VY, we'll see him we tomorrow. Tomorrow the round of eight. Most likely on stream in, in the round of eight in the game. $2,500 game of Madden. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big catch for Hooley. It's a dangerous throw. It's a tough way to make a living. End of the first quarter. It's more of the same today. Seven, seven. A lot of people in the chat loving that Nando gonna be in the Elite Eight. Guys, Gears music in the chat, man. If you haven't checked out Gears' music, that's, that's the best artist that we've had in the Madden community. Gears stays holding it down on the tracks. Shout out to Gears. Let's pick up nicely over the middle. Finding Tevin Ooh. Coleman. Spinning Ooh, and winning. The and he's got sticking. room. There it's was Tevin Coleman. Sticking. There's that stick for TNC Fancy into the end zone. Oh, you fancy, huh? That's why they call oh, fancy, him fancy, huh? I guess. That's a swaggy name, especially when you can get fancy on the sticks like that. The way to respond to joke to take back the lead. So here's the question. Gares, is he a Texas guy or a Philly guy? Oh, no. Got to pick one. Philly. I agree. Gares, set the record straight. Are you Philly or are you Texas? Uh, see, you guys, you fancy, huh? I was waiting for somebody to went Iggy in the chat. Only nice Iggy Azalea nice reference fun. in the history of men. <laughs> Actually, I was using the Swiss Beats. I know. I know, because he's the only one. I was waiting to see if somebody would. Order in the chat. I believe he's a Philly sports guy, but a Texas music guy. Second down to 12 now for Joe Glutton to respond to the touchdown. Tevin Coleman into the end zone. Patty Mahomes at the helm. Joe using a lot of motion. Likely trying to mess Chaos up Fancy's adjustments. Waiting. Wide open circle time. in. Oh man, two people wide open. What a play by Joke. Chaos in the chat. Come on, Chaos. Now first and ten. Standard trips tight end for Joke. What's picked up nicely, and there's nobody over there on Travis Kelsey. He'll pick up another. Big gain to the 17-yard line. Give him 27. And this is a new joke than we're used to seeing. Joke usually in gun bunch. Uh, now switch to the gun trips tight end. You got to figure he got in the lab with EMB's very own drag, who's also a gun trips tight end specialist and has Joke running this new offense. And Joke looking pretty good so far. He's shown us some really nice dots. He's made some big plays. 
switching up his game plan late in the Madden 19 season is hey, hey, Echo hey, Fox hey, Joe. Hey. Lucky to hang on to that one. All right, so, I'm, and again, you guys can all take a look at this. It's at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Here are the Elite Eight matchups that are already set. JS the best and Shakobi. Mm. Okay, wait, who's the favorite in that one? JS? I got Shakobi. Shakobi's playing so good right now. Okay. Nando and Turnaround. Mm. Over the middle. And then Mr. Hitstick and Kratobin. So right now, we got this game, and we got our game we're finishing up with Beast Mode, Mac, and Clef. The winners of those play each other. Wow. Who's the favorite in that Beast Mode, Mac, and Clef? Yeah, Clef. Clef. If you ask the community, Clef's one of the hottest players Wait. in the streets right now. Absolutely. But Beast Mode finds a way to win. It's going to be a good game. It's I, definitely going to be I'm a good game. What a way to, to finish the day, yeah, right? That's a good way to finish the day. Ace, ace. 100%. We got a good one here. It's a one-score game, and Joke, I'm sorry, he's going to take this down to a two-minute warning. Down a score, but a yard out, first and goal. Gee, we have seen people struggle from a yard out. It's been, you got to find some sort of play that doesn't give a conventional look because these guys know the playbook so well, they're shooting the gaps effectively. Yeah, but on first down, first and goal, four chances, you got to figure you're going to have a way if you choke to get into this end zone. I mean, this would be some serious Hodor action. The fancy was able to Kelsey. stop him four back down. Yep, and he's in. Touchdown for Joke. Joke's old school. <laughs> he's going with that fullback dive. All right, and RJ, maybe you can answer this. I watched that, that fullback dive out of the... the the strong formation versus a fullback dive out of goal line. What makes it more effective? Is it just there could be more plays coming out of that strong formation as opposed to a goal line formation? Well, it's a different gap. And the, anim the, the animation, honestly, on that strong fullback dive looks a lot quicker than the one on the goal line fullback dive. You see the goal line one, it's a little drawn out. You can kind of see it coming. It takes a while for the fullback to get the ball. But for some reason on that strong one, quarterback gets there quick and you have more room to go through it you know right kind of behind that guard you can go through the b gap the a gap kind of break it out where you know the goal line one you're kind of forced to just run right it, up it almost gap. feels like out of the near formation that sort of halfback inside play it's, it's just a quick handoff but how about this opportunity for fans to put some points on the board before the half he gets it back all three timeouts minute 51 and counting facing a second and seven I think if you're fancy right now, you got to be happy with the way this game's going. You were coming in here, you're playing joke straight up, and you've been able to move the ball as at your will on offense. I don't know, though. I, I think that fancy, you know, he has a lot of backers, a lot of expectations. Think, and you saw when we asked the, the poll from the chat that they all had him winning this game, and. I think he's had some trouble, you know, getting stops on Joke. I think he expected to play a little bit better defense, but you're right, Rico. He can't be too mad in a tie ball game against one of the best players in the world with the ball. And a chance to get into can't, the top eight. Shouldn't get too hard on him, but uh, the point I'm trying to make is I think Fancy has a lot of expectations on himself, and not only for this game, but in this tournament. Third down at three. Get up! Play action pass. Ryan looking for something. The pressure gets there. Down goes Ryan. Timeout taken by Joke. A huge sack on third down. And those are the type of plays you can't make if you're expected to win this tournament. You cannot take that sack there. You got to get rid of that ball. I don't think he wanted to take that sack. That defender just came screaming right up that A gap. He didn't have much time. He's giving Hill a chance to return this. Oh, no. Joe cuts left. He's got some room. Joke's trying to get it. Pass midfield. A little stick work of his own. Nope. Down Still to the 28. Return. Why don't you get that ball out of bounds? You got to punt that ball out of bounds. You can't give Tyreek Hill open space. He went to the Chamber School of Special Teams. Chamber's about to, you're about to get a notification. Chamber has unfriended you on Facebook. Yeah, honestly, that was a very bad move right there. <laughs> could have. 
could have been brutal. He cannot be punted to Tyree Kill, giving him that much space. Sure, he wish he had that one back. Big George in the chat saying, never punt inbounds. Shout out to our guy, Big George. Had a good run at that Seahawks club this year. And you know what? He's the one that told me, you know, watch out for some serious. That guy's going to make some serious noise. And Boy, did he. Boy, did he. You know. Big George talks now. I'm, I listen. We're under a minute to go in the first half, and it's a tie ball game. Round of 16 action. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams on the call. Second and seven. Quick throw underneath to Sammy Watkins to the 19-yard line. Timeout taken by Fancy. Man, poise choke is just so much to deal with. Been playing this game at such a high level for such a long time. Stay so consistent. How about a little draw play? Oh, good stick He's got right some there. Room. That's good stick work right there. Not every time for good stick work do you need it to be a spin or a stop. And sometimes it's just finding the correct running lane and hitting the hole. And Joke did an awesome job of that right there. Very impressive. So many times you see people run into their blockers or get caught up when he was like, oh, if they could have just got to that right point, that was a touchdown. Exactly. Couldn't agree with you more, RG. Young Kib in the chat. Wow, it's great. That's, RG, that, that's the other thing that I love about looking at how the community has grown. It's so cool seeing even the guys who aren't here, they're in the Twitch chat supporting the Madden community here at DreamHack. I can look at the chat at any time and, and see guys that, you know, you just known or gotten to know throughout this year. Right now, uh, Gibbs, Killer Cam, Jet from back in the day. I mean, these are just all guys that I've met and interacted with and, you know, all good people. And you just got to love our community, man. Second and goal. Nowhere to go on the ground. Who beat Crush? They don't want it, fellas. They don't. Uh, I can tell you at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. It was. Big third down right here for Joke Boys. You definitely want to get seven here. You don't want to be forced to take three. This is a humongous play. It's got Kelson O. My ball. Oh, wow. Great route. Hot one. Wow. That was an amazing route. Amazing read. Better pass. Yeah, B, they be in the lab. Let's go for it. That's a nice play. And if you remember yesterday, by the way, go for it. He got flooded. He had 77 blocked on him. Ooh. Comes out with a big win in single elimination. Anything can happen in single elimination. That touchdown was kind of a drag special. I've seen drag do that. We saw him do it similar um, out of the gun trips tight end when he played straight and where you send a receiver or tight end to the flat route and it kind of, you know, sucks out those cornerbacks to make them go guard the flat route. And then the halfback just runs a wheel route that gets right inside of the defense, doesn't quite get to the sideline, and you hit the wheel route. It's a really good play right there. Gotta make this tackle. Oh, man. Gotta make uh -oh. this tackle. Oh, man. Oh, oh fancy. Uh -oh. Get uh -oh. fancy. Get uh -oh. Ricky. Oh, that big oh, tackle. Oh, man. That's a savvy veteran move. That was great stick by fancy, but better stick by joke. Avoiding the getting picked up by that blocker, containing that run. Well played joke. Tip your hat to and him. And any Madden player that's been in that situation. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. More for the defensive side of the ball. So, yes, hats off to Joke for making that tackle. I won a game and retired putt from Philadelphia on a quarterback draw. I don't know who putt is. Yeah, it's great. It was one of the, the 215 guys. What a Gene. One of the guys, like, you know how Gene's the big boss in the video game? He's one of the underlings you beat before you get to Gene. <laughs> Well, how big was that drive before the half for Joke to take a seven-point lead, and he gets the ball to start the second half in this round of 16 game? DJ at the chat saying, good trivia, RG and Rico. Who is the oldest player to win a club or make a live final? What are we going back to? MCS series, or are we talking about forever since the 03 first challenge? Yes. Whatever answer you got. All the way back from the challenge. Probably Funk, right? No, I think they're saying the championship game, so I'm thinking... No, he said live final or win a club. So just get to a live final. Ooh. Uh-oh, he's I got a man down the field. Ooh. 
that Travis Kelsey? That that very first year, you had D Train. What was he? 146. <laughs> Hey, don't, 40. <laughs> don't be so insulting books is out there. Got, true. That, that was a huge play right there, boys, because what that did is just got Joke into field goal range to start this second half. And now, bearing anything tragic, again, like I always say, he's going to be able to make it two possessions. And I always bring this up because it's just such a big deal. <laughs> books, books hurt me. 21-14. And a big gash play. And as good as Joke is, you cannot allow him to go up like that, RG. Because he's going to melt that clock, backfield. too. Check, 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 he knows check. he has three already, so he's starting to tick, tock, tick, tock. You got him. Is there? You got him. With, with a, a seven-point hey, game right hey. now, if go, Joke go, scores go. here, how confident are you that Joke wins go, this goal? Go, go. Joke with a 14 If this was in live game, 98.9%. Second 13. How about another run? And that. Ooh, strip! Oh, didn't get it. Party of the Red Sea and didn't get the strip. Instead, it's a first down. Joke. He's on a mission right now. I'm shocked he's hiking the ball so quick. I feel like his offense is clicking right now. He's up seven. He's about to go up another one. Take your time, young man. Joke, you gotta just figure, continue to milk this clock. Get fancy in this high powered stick working offense. Now, we just seen a throwback. I don't know if you guys heard. Hess from DC, from the House of Ballers, just entered the chat. He was the first person to ever show heat. He beat me by like 40 in my first ever Madden tournament. He's the one who made me lock in and become better. Yeah, the, the first time, the you, first time you ever saw heat, someone, some real he was playing with the you? Saints. Oh, I remember. Hess and those famous Saints. Madden 05, first time you saw that dime there, and you're like, what? Joke in business, 2.15 and counting. Seven point lead and the ball, second and inches. I'm loving his clock management here. Yeah, let's get Gooch is somewhere smiling. I could be wrong, but I feel like Joe is about as comfortable as anybody with the lead. And you know, there, there are some guys who don't feel comfortable with the lead, they don't really they don't think about clock management. They don't think about plays to call. I feel like Joke feels in his element when he has the lead. It's a little strong, tight to run the ball. You know who I hate? You got to tip your hat to problem. You want to talk about somebody when they get the lead where you know it's going to be a problem? You call him Mariano Rivera. He's an incredible closer. <laughs> first and 10 now for Joke. And look at how much clock he has used here in the third quarter. This is the first drive of the second half. And we are nearing the minute 20 mark. He's got a seven point lead, he's at the 12 yard line. And if you're fancy, this has got to be so frustrating just staring at that clock. Tick down, tick down. And Joke's made a couple of conversions, he's gashed him for a couple big plays, and now he's putting the screws in, up seven. Continuing to milk that clock. There's no worse feeling in Madden than not being able to stop the run. You are helpless. Now second and nine. Shotgun, he's got the tight slots. Look at Joe, he's just calm, cool, and collected. He had DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament. Will he be the first ever DreamHack Madden champion? Hand off. Williams trying to find some room on the right side. No go. And are we, down. is he about to end the entire third quarter with one drive? Yep. And that's what I said. You gotta count on Joke, you know. That's a bonus sometimes with chores in four quarters. He's playing an incredible cerebral game. The only thing is you just don't want to take your foot off the gas too much, and now you wind up taking three instead of seven. There it is. He's going to milk this. He's going to put your fours up, and he took the whole third quarter with his opening drive in the second half, and he's going to be able to run another play within the fourth quarter. This is an impressive drive by Echo Fox Joke, and it is why he is a part of a super esports team like Echo Fox, because he is a true professional when it comes to competitive Madden. Fours up in the chat. Five minutes remaining. It's a seven-point ball game. A spot in the Elite Eight on the line. Safa Jones in the chat saying, Joke just took the whole third. That's old school. Yep. Yeah, that is old I school. Told you that's, that's a good milk. point from Sa <laughs> Speaking of old school, right? It, it, I mean, that was impressive. It, it was and is impressive clock management from Joke. 
It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, he's just going to run the ball. Oh, again. he's got a big he's hole. Got in. First down, wow. touchdown. Oh. All you, know you needed was six. He puts him up two scores. <laughs> If you're fancy, you're actually happy he Got broke it. that last tackle and scored. Because else you were going to lose another minute and change. Uh, not, not necessarily, though. I'd rather lose the extra 40 seconds he would have took to hold him the three instead of the two touchdowns. I'm saying once he got to the first <laughs> down, he didn't score. Like, oh, you're you got to look happy he scored. Because if he'd have had first and goal from the two. That clock would have been that clock 40, been done. 40, 40, yes. 40. Oh, Larry. Yes, my God. We got to shout him out. Yes, I was there in New York when he first got drafted. Shout out to Larry. Shout out to Larry. Great guy. If you saw that piece on ESPN, phenomenal. Phenomenal. One of the inspiring stories. Big shout out to Larry in the chat. And he's just, any, all of my interactions with him in person, he's just such a positive person to be around. He's just got such a, a kind spirit, a humble attitude, and he's just so knowledgeable at both games, NBA and NFL. Uh, a true talent, a truly good person. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Larry. A lot of love for you, man. A lot of love, brother. Big thanks to everybody in the chat who's been hanging out with us all day. Day two of DreamHack Madden. The first ever DreamHack hosted Madden tournament won't be the last. We started with 96. We're almost down to eight. One final game in RG coming up next. It's one everybody's going to want to tune into. That clef and beast mode, Mac. Now, with Joe being up two scores right now in the fourth, it's enabling him to do whatever he wants on defense. He is setting the house. He's mixing it up. He's going to make it really tough for Fancy. Third and 22. The defense for Joe stepping up big in the fourth quarter. Got to make a play here, Fancy. How crazy is this? The first time Fancy's touched the ball in the second half. It's got square. He's just not throwing to him. He goes for the deeper route, and it's yeah. inaccurate. Oh, no. Fancy stays patient. Doesn't go to the open underneath routes. Waits for the deep corner to get open. And Matt Ryan not able to deliver a strike. Fourth and 22. Got to call Killer Mike. Get the play flown in. <laughs> Is it GG's without a conversion here? Because you leave you leave Joke in field goal. Once range. he scored that touchdown, it was GG's. Uh, no. I told you. No. He was a great closer. I told you before he ran that whole clock. I told you, Joke being up seven was going to run that clock. He you ran did. it to perfection. You did. Scored. It's a drive. What What about this game shows you he couldn't do it again? I mean, again, you just never know. Let's be clear. Ice was in field goal range with five seconds left and got stripped. Ice isn't Joke. Joe could have went down. Well, here it is. You never know. Fourth and long. Let's find out. Look at left side. Got him. I think he's got him. It doesn't matter. The game's not over yet. Tevin Coleman. Kiv is somewhere watching this like. Oh. Hey, Kiv got over that hump this year. He did. He came, finally became I know the he was happy for that. champion. That, that was a. I mean, that was big time for the Kiv, a, a young man that's pretty much accomplished everything there is to accomplish in competitive Madden, a true tier one type player. Got to love. One of the best we got. Here's the other thing you got to love. Seeing all these guys in the chat supporting Madden. I love seeing guys like Jay Wall and D Crop. They're out there. They are less than 100 feet from us. They're watching the Twitch chat. They're participating with the Twitch chat. They're pumped for DreamHack. Hey, bye bye. 28-14, second to last game of the broadcast, but we got a barn burner up next. Clef, Beast Mode Mac. You're not going to want to miss this. Tell everybody to get over here because they're going to see two of the premier Madden players. Woo. Fancy's moving Woo. right now. Fancy is moving. That, that fourth and 22 gave him some new life, and right now he's looking good in this trip's tight end. He's got three timeouts, plenty of time to get a stop. He's still very much in the ball game. He's got to throw this away. There's nothing. There it is. J-Wall calling for the fight. Hey, let's go. 21. Third and one. Hey, 54, seven. Gun, gun, gun. Wait. It's a two-score hey, game, but a touchdown here. It's still got the two-minute hey, warning as well. Needs hey, Ridley, seven. Ridley, Field Ridley. goals do him nothing. Get up. Go. 
Coleman in motion. Left side, looking for that corner route. Ah. Good defense, fourth and one. Joke says no, sir. Hey, I got him, I got him, I got him. That's an interesting play call. What do you do? Do you focus on just getting the one yard? I, I, do you dare me, run the ball? If it's me, I, I think I'm running the ball just to get that first down. Now he's got himself in the fourth and one. Saw that X spot play in his playbook. That's a very popular play out of this formation. I'm calling a pass play and running with my quarterback getting the first down. Not even looking at him. I just need a yard. Just need a yard. He's fast enough to get to that yard. Fourth and just a yard to stay alive here at DreamHack. Hey, let's go. Takes the snap. Waiting. Looking. Corner round. Oh, go click. Got him. Oh, what? Got him. Oh, that was good. Calvin Ridley with the catch. Fortunate to fancy. That was good stick work by Joke. He immediately clicked onto that fender, ran him into position to make the swat, just wasn't able to get to the ball. Fancy with another big catch and continues to keep the drive alive and keep the dream alive here at DreamHack. Hey, Express, Express, 20, 20, 11. Wow, that was close. First and goal. Chuggy, shout out to Chuggy. Good I play. was asking for you earlier Touch today. Down. I seen Wayne Walton. Where was Chuggy? Where was the specialist? Where was Candyman? A lot of the old schools coming back out, and it's all because of the new school guys. They see them. They see them swagging. They see them playing. They see them on national television. And this is what it's all about. It's memories. And guys, Madden couldn't be in any better hands in our new generation. You're right, Rico. And I'll tell you what, it means the world to me when I got when I get some of those old school guys that'll send me messages after, after our event and they'll say, love what you guys are doing, love enjoying it, keep up the good work, represent our community the right way. You guys are doing big things. And, you know, that, that always just brightens my day to get those messages. And we, we appreciate it, guys, and us and the community. And Look at it like a fraternity. And what happens is he just passes it down and it gets better and better and better. And each generation, each new group of Madden players just takes it to the next level. Well, well speaking next level. Going to take it to the two-minute warning. It's still only a one-score game. That was a big stop on first down. All of a sudden, three timeouts remaining. Fancy, very much alive in this game. Second and 12 helps a lot. Told you, Rico, this game far from over. Everyone Joe. Come for that one stop for Fancy. Fancy Royal. using his quick defensive adjustments oh, right there, adjusting with Joke as he directs traffic hey, at the hey, line hey, of scrimmage. Hey, hey. They're playing a chess match right now. Oh, so, so. What's going on here at the line of scrimmage? Run it with Williams. Trying to get outside. Good block on the good edge. Tackle. Tackle. That was and a great tackle. Here's where what I'll say. I know a lot of people will watch that, that first drive of the second half by Joke and said, wow, what a drive. He used all the clock. This drive is so much tougher because if you're fancy, you can anticipate the run the first two downs. And you saw it there. He was ready for it. There was no fear that he was going to pass it on. This third down, though, is tough. Play action pass. He's looking to throw for it to pick up He's the first down. He's going to have to throw it away. He's got nowhere to go. back. He's looking oh, over the has He's the got man. That. Oh Fancy can't gosh. believe it. That's a tough way to lose. Fancy played amazing defense. Not completely over yet, but that might have done it. But no pressure. That's the difference. Couldn't get to the quarterback. Mahomes was able to roam free. Some people will call it fluke, but to Joke's credit, he knew that eventually the receiver was going to have to get into get open mode. That was a hit. That was a hit. Joke lucky to hold on to that ball. But yeah, Joke fortunate. You see the way he ran backwards, gave his receiver more time to get into that get open mode. Not the greatest read, but he gave himself a chance. He just hit Joke so hard that I got a severe thunderstorm warning in Dallas right now. They thought that was Glad we're inside. Second and 13. Cuts back inside. All right, RJ, here's a question. What do you, in your mind, I, I don't know if there's, I don't care about the numbers behind the game, but in your mind, if you're trying to force a fumble, is it by hit stick or is it by strip? Depends at the angle. Okay. If I'm, obviously, if I'm chasing you, and I'm coming from the strip. side, strip, if right. we're going head if I'm on. I'm head on with you. Head on, hit stick. Hit stick? Yeah. Whoa. All right, so fancy. Well, let's see what Joke does here. Does Joke, do you, if you're Joke, do you 
Let's see, if we run this all the way down, it's gonna be what? Under 10? Are we gonna be under 10? Yeah. 33, so 13 seconds will be the snap. If you're joked, do you dare run a play on fourth down? No, no. You, do you just punt it and you, go? You better punt it out of bounds. We, we've seen Fancy get icky and we've seen oh the- Oh gosh, that's <laughs> terrifying to have to kick back to Fancy. Well, that joke's good enough he'll be able to kick this ball right get out of bounds. Get it out of bounds. He's gonna get this yeah, ball out of bounds. Yeah. Why did, I don't even know that I'd take the timeout. I would've just took the penalty. Who do they got as their returner on the, is it Tevin Coleman? Tevin Coleman. Probably. Tevin Coleman's who you have returned for the Falcons. 14, 13 seconds, fancy. All you can ask for is a chance. We've seen Julio get over the top. Choking to stay in the big nickel, not going to the quarter street deep. Doesn't want to deal with that fancy stick work. No timeouts for fancy, Nick, here we go. You gotta get back. You gotta get back. That's game. We don't can't believe it. <laughs> 